Our next movie has a famous title. It's called Scarface, but only the title has any resemblance to the 1932 classic starring Paul Muni, the title and also the theme of self-destruction. This is a modern gangster movie about a tough young Cuban, a convict who's allowed by Castro to take one of those refugee boats to Florida where in 1981 he begins to build a criminal drug empire by dealing in cocaine. The Cuban is played by Al Pacino. He muscles in on the established drug dealing establishment and in this scene he even proposes marriage to the girlfriend of one of South Florida's godfathers. moment Pacino had it all together but later on in the movie totally wasted by drug abuse he's a sitting duck in a mob controlled nightclub great tradition of the Warner Brothers gangster movies of the 30s and Al Pacino is very good in Scarface this performance is a return to greatness for an actor who seemed to lose his way in recent years after his great early performances in movies like The Godfather and Dog Day Afternoon Pacino started turning up in easy money movies like Bobby Deerfield and author author terrible movies but now here he is creating an unforgettable character Tony Montana a tough cruel hateful ambitious criminal who thinks he knows everything, but he doesn't know when to stop. Scarface has been involved in a controversy over its R rating. The ratings board originally wanted to rate this movie X for the violence in it, but they lost on appeal, and it's, it's rated R. It is a violent movie. It's very tough and rough and not appropriate for younger audiences, but it's also a very good movie, and the violence isn't for exploitation. It's an important part of the story, and it's a good movie, I think. You know, it's funny. I didn't like the movie at all. At but, all. But the, except for one aspect, and it has to do with the violence. Uh -huh. I think that some of the um, shootout sequences in this film are some of the most beautifully choreographed mm -hmm. things, uh, showing you know, what happens in a violent situation, including the first shootout, which I guess really got hacked uh, a little bit up by this rating because they took out some of the most gruesome scenes, and it's still pretty gruesome. But the rest of the movie, other than the violence, I found empty. I found, at one point, he marries that woman, mm -hmm. and I can give that away. Uh, he marries that woman, and she calls him at the end a boring guy mm -hmm. at the end of the picture, and I thought, yes. 
tremendously boring, boring from the beginning of the movie. And I just want to compare the oh, film to no, the Godfather. No, 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 no. Wait compare. a minute. Now, he's not boring at oh, yeah. all. Fabulously no. boring. He is I would pass, fabulously boring. I would At the beginning, he's extremely interesting no. because he's this hustler who gets off the boat, and he's got to think faster and be tougher than anybody else to make his way in the drug trade. Right. By the end of the movie, he's boring for a very specific reason, mm. which is he is totally spaced out on cocaine. Of he has made the key mistake of, of using his That's own right. stuff. In Instead of dealing it, he uses it. Right. That, so he's boring found, for that no, reason. No, no. I found him totally uninteresting. I want to compare it uh -huh. to an obvious comparison, okay. The Godfather. Sure. In the beginning of The Godfather, when Al Pacino is in that uniform, mm -hmm. and he says he's not part of the family, he's a different mm -hmm. character, mm -hmm. there's a fascinating dynamic there. And so what happens to Pacino's character in that movie, which is sort of ending up the same kind of way, uh -huh. that's a fall from, if not greatness, it's a fall from goodness, and it's interesting. Okay. Let me finish. In this movie, we have a fall from louseness. So what? Well, it's just not interesting, do you, Roger. Do you think there's some rule that says the guy has to be good at the beginning no. so he can be bad at the end? No, this guy I say it's more interesting. He's a criminal when he gets off the boat. That's exactly right. Then he has, An uninteresting he has criminal. a criminal's version of the American dream, which no. is get a lot of money, build a right. big house, and marry this blonde, That's right? right. And then, because of the drugs and because of his own fatal flaws, it all comes crashing down. So it's the story of a guy who's bad at the beginning, bad in the middle, and worse at the end. What's wrong with that? Who cares? I didn't care about him in the slightest. His life meant nothing there to me. There are a lot of people like this guy, I think. Fine. And their lives mean a lot in this world. That's why... All, the of, the, was all of the famous gangster films are not about louses who got lousier. Some of them are about interesting characters who got lousier. That's a historical footnote, but it's not a criticism of this It's film. a criticism of this movie because it doesn't compare with its obvious comparison to The Godfather. I had a disagreement, though, on Brian De Palma's Scarface. I vote thumbs up for the movie's brilliant portrait of the gangster. She votes thumbs down because he thought it was boring and predictable. Uh, of all the holiday movies so far, first week, I guess I'd say Yentl is my favorite. I like Yentl a whole lot. I also like Scarface a whole lot. No matter what you say, I know I'm right. Well, that's why you're on the show, I guess.